Here we are multiplying two signals x and y. And we're being asked about the bandwidths of x and y, given that the bandwidth of the product is 18. So we know nothing about x and y, so let's, let's sketch arbitrary spectra for these signals just to try to visualize them. So I'm going to use the Fourier transform, but using f rather than um, omega, because we're given the bandwidth in hertz rather than radians per second. So that's x of f, y of f, and z of f. Now, we're told that these signals are multiplied, but we assume that this multiplication is happening in the time domain because we're given the signals in the time domain. So that would correspond not to multiplication here, but to convolution. So we're convolving in the frequency domain. And the bandwidths, let's call this bx and this by and that would be bz. And of course, bz, we're given in the question, is 18 kilohertz. So that's our 18k. Now, we know that when we multiply two signals in the time domain, then the product, the bandwidth of the product, will be the sum of the bandwidths. So whatever the bandwidth of x is and the bandwidth of y is, we add those up to find the bandwidth of um, z. Now you can think of that as either because of the convolution or remember the rules of thumb, the heuristics we agreed on, that when you multiply in the frequency domain, the um, overall bandwidth, when, sorry, when you multiply in the time domain, the spectrum or the bandwidth of the resulting spectrum will be equal to the sum of the bandwidths of the two signals. So we can say um, bx plus by equals bz. And we know bz is equal to 18. And we also know that uh, the bandwidth of y is twice that of x. So by is twice bx. So that's easy to solve. We can say, well, Bx in that case has to be 6 kilohertz, and therefore By is twice that, which is 12 kilohertz. And 12 plus 6 equals 18. So that would be your final answer. And the way we answered this is by remembering that when you multiply two signals in the time domain, the spectrum will have a bandwidth equal to the sum of the bandwidths of the individual components. So that would be your final answer. If the answers were required in radians per second, you'd multiply by 2 pi.